In this episode, we look at what happens if we ignore our experimenting time. How does that affect our other types of work? All the work types are still in relation to each other. When you change one, some other will change too, since we're stuck with our fixed working time. Now, what would happen if we decided to cut down on our experimenting time? Correct! Our products are getting older by the day, since we no longer stay updated on what is new, by experimenting with it. And if we don't have experimenting time, we don't have time to come up with smart solutions that reduces our time needed on other types of work, like automating time reporting or so, to decrease the needed time for other stuff, or experiment with smarter documentation that could save time on needed tech handling. And finally, if we skip experimenting time, our cool knowledge workers will get unmotivated and come to work with less energy. And that's sad. So cutting down on our experimenting time has consequences that will block us from getting more time to build new cool stuff and eventually probably slow us down to a less motivated team. But instead investing in experimenting time can increase the time we have for building the new cool stuff and get your team more motivated. That sounds like a better deal. Next, let's look at what happens to our unplanned work and needed tech handling when we release new cool stuff. Stay tuned.